Well, hello, friends and followers. So, this is a Drake T4XB transmitter that I've had. This is the one that I converted to 6146 tubes. I was all proud of myself. Anyway, there's the tubes in there. Um, this thing had low drive, and I kept thinking, what the hell's wrong with it? Um, so this wire here comes up through to this last capacitor, and this wire is a bear to uh, figure out. Anyway, this thing kept having shorts. If you try and ohm out on these capacitor banks here, these do 80 meters and 160, and to get to these, you got to pull off a little cover. I'm looking for the cover to show you that went on there. It's a little copper cover. Here it is. Anyway, to get to those, you got to pull those off. And I guess I guess Drake didn't really want their uh, radios to go on for what is it, 1960 to 2040, 63 years, but. This goofy insulation they use, this weird, I guess it's not weird, but it rots. So certain conditions, certain people's houses where these things were stored, certain humidity and the stuff just rots. So this wire, I think, has been touching the uh, base here for a long time. Anyway, if this grounds, I was getting shorts and intermittent shorts. Of course, I can't get it to short now, but let's see if I can short it with a screwdriver. Well, I don't see any short there. Is my meter even grounded? It's probably not. Meter is not grounded. All right, let's ground the meter. And hopefully I don't see any shorts now. Nope, no short. Okay, so if we short that wire, I'll show you what's been going on here. Oh, no shorts. What if I test this capacitor over here? I guess these are all independent. So this bank was shorting. This is a bank that goes to 12BY7 here, the plate. And no short. Ah, that's because this wire itself has to be connected. I can't measure there because I just connected it. So let's measure here. Okay, yep, yeah, that's open. And of course, when I short this, it'll short, so. That's a problem I had, and unfortunately, when that problem occurs, when that when this bank shorts out, this bank is tied to this bank here through that wire. Anyway, when that shorts out, it causes all sorts of problems with the B plus resistor, which you can see here, it's smoked to hell and back. So I guess when I was fixing this thing, when I got it from eBay, and, and it was a basket case, I... Uh, didn't really find the short. I thought this wire was shorting, so I put heat shrink on it, this yellow one here, the same yellow rot stuff, but nope, it was a more nefarious wire deep in there. So here's what happens. I open this thing up today and I find these are all burned up. These are the B plus resistors. So I'm working backwards, trying to figure out why these blue and I could see on the meter there was a short that came and went, so that is what I'm doing. Backtrace that, fix that. I, I eventually want to put a B plus, I'm sorry, an AM mod in this thing on the 6AU6 AM modulator. That's why I opened this thing up. I knew it had low drive, but I didn't really care about that. I wanted to get the AM working, and I opened it up and I thought, geez, well, there's why it has low drive, so <laughs> let's fix that. And then work on the AM modulator later after replacing that transistor. So I'm just going to put some insulation on here from the Chinese communists and put that back together and see if the short's gone. And then replace the B plus resistor. And then I want to put this um, this mod on for AM. This might be an all day affair, unfortunately. 
I'm trying to find the mod with the mouse. <coughs> there it is. There's the mod. So I've been trying to put this mod on today. There's the original circuit on the 686 for AM. And it goes to this circuit here. They talk about constant carrier. Okay, yeah, here's the mod details right here. So I'm going to try this once I get this thing back to working. See if it works. AM guys were saying I didn't sound very good yesterday, so I want to put that mod in, but before I did that, I found a bunch of other problems in this thing when I opened it up today. So that's what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.